Hey folks, what's up? Guess who's back? It's me. Hey kid. All right, today we're making bangers, Irish bangers, and mash. I already made the mash because that's just the boil water and add the mash. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be making some bangers. I've never had bangers, but I went to REI. And Whole Foods is right there. And I said, well, I'm just going to go in there. I'm just, and I was just looking around. Uh, and I got my usual sausages. I only got like one pack of those. And I got these ones. And I said, I never had them. It's a traditional Irish thing. So why not get it, try it, and uh, share it with you guys. And uh, it works. we'll see how they taste. I don't know, it's pork and spices and it's Irish and I'm Irish. And so I'm only eating two. I'm going to have the other two saved. And, um, uh, I got to move this because I got to get something out of here. I need to get the butter. I was going to make tacos today. But I was in there and I forgot the taco seasoning. Oh, creeps. You know how it goes. You go in the store, you just forget what you're doing. Uh, I, I was kind of thinking maybe get making like some kind of fish or something. And I don't know, I just nothing caught my eye. And I said, screw it. And then I was just walking around. I said, let me grab my sausages that I normally get. I still had a pack, so I only got one pack. Trying not to blow a lot of money right now, so that's how I'm doing that. So I'm gonna add some butter to this. Um, and a little butter to the bangers. Just a little, not a lot, a little. Just to get it in the pan. I added some to the taters. Gonna smash it right down in the middle. And I should have got, I don't know, I didn't make the coal cannon yet. But it is what it is. Uh, sometimes things change, and I still got the rest of the month, I still got a half a month to go in, in uh, March. So it's coming. Just gotta get there. And so. While I was at REI, um, if you don't know what REI is, um, Recreational Sports, uh, no, Recreational Equipment Incorporated. And when you spend money there, you get a yearly dividend. So whatever you spend, you get like a percentage back that you can spend there. Uh, plus I have an REI credit card. So I get another percentage on that. So uh, I had like 200 bucks. So I got a, all right. So let me show you one of the things. I can't get the hell up. All right. One of the things I got was a, a new chair and uh, my other chair, I had a Coleman, the Coleman 400 pound capacity chair there, the Max, Coleman Max. And this one's kind of a little bit more reclined in the back and folds up. Um, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of sturdy. This is also rated for 400 pounds. But I thought, eh, let me get another chair and try out another chair. Because the other chair, the way it folds out, it's not stable. But let me show you the bottom. The way this folds out... The bottom of it pretty much almost touches the floor all the way across so it's more stable because when I back up and I hit the sh the, uh, the little shelf step there the other chair would fall in and I'd almost tip over which is not good this is just a matter of time before I broke the chair or me and I don't want to break either so I got my dividends and I said well it's almost like free money. 
<laughs> so with my free money, I this chair. Now, now my favorite color is orange or black. They had black. No, they didn't have black. They had an orange. Well, maybe they did have black. Okay, but the chair was sixty-five dollars. But this color in the blue was thirty-one bucks. And then when I put it in my cart, it took off like another ten bucks. So I really only paid like twenty bucks for this that I didn't even really pay for. I just bought other stuff that wound up uh, paying for this uh, as a freebie. So I got that, and let me see. I'm gonna share the, the rest of my bounty with you. Uh, hang on. Okay, wowzers, I'm back. All right, so I got this little survival knife thingy. It's got a whistle <laughs> and a little carabiner, and it's got a fire starter, which I didn't even realize it had the fire starter. I, I don't even remember it saying a whistle, but whatever. Um, there's a small design flaw in this, which I found when I got it. It has this little piece of Velcro, and I'm thinking to myself, this Velcro would probably hold the fire starter on the back. But they put it inside of here where the knife goes in, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, so this little knife, and I didn't know it had a sheath at all, but this was seven bucks on a clearance closeout type of deal. This cord, you can unravel the cord, and the outside strands are cord, and the inner strand in it is a actual fire starter cord. So I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, I really bought it for the little tiny knife. I like little knives like this. It's got a one and a half inch blade and this side is a saw which is pretty sharp. It also has a bottle opener and it has six hex wrenches so you can use this as a little tool and it has a two inch ruler which I mean I don't know what the heck you're measuring two inches. But in a pinch uh, it's a nice little handy survival thing. I'll throw it in one of my backpacks. Um, I have another little tiny one, a little, it's half the size of this knife that I got when I went to the hike the Appalachian Trail. I forgot to pack my knife in my, um, well, I shipped my pack down to the hostel where I stayed the night before I started and they shuttled us up to the start point. And I forgot to pack my knife. And I thought I put it in my backpack and shipped it down, and I didn't. So I wound up right when you when you get off the plane. There was in Georgia. There's a subway station there, and you can take that subway. You have to take the subway station all the way to the end. You take the subway to the end, and there's an REI store right there, and that's where the shuttle came to pick me up. Uh, a shuttle bus came to pick me up and brought me to the hostel. So I got this little tiny knife which weighed like half an ounce. It was, it's the coolest little shit. I'll show you sometime. I also got uh, a pair of socks that was like eight bucks. I got these socks that were on like a clearance sale type deal. They were like six bucks each. So that was that was a quick grab. And I splurged from one item, uh, which I haven't opened up yet. I'll have to open it now, though. It looks cooler than one of the pictures that I saw, so I'm happy with that, too. So I got a... Uh, a this is a hoodie. This is wool. This was a hundred bucks. I like the color. It's uh, smart wool, uh, 150 weight, and wool is super warm, super soft. It's warm in the winter and it's cool in the summer. It wicks moisture away from your body. And anything smart wool, I love smart wool socks. Although the socks that I just bought were REI brand. I just bought some cheap ones. Uh, getting ready for summertime. These are low, low, low socks. Right now I'm wearing uh, I'm 
I'm wearing a pair of smart wool socks right now, these ones. And I wear them in the winter and in the summertime. I always wear low socks with some sneakers, but I like the this, <clears throat> the wool socks don't don't get smelly as bad. Um, oh, and I got a Yeti cup uh, because I have a, I have a nice hydro flask cup that's basically the same as this, but it doesn't have a lid, and it's great for hot beverages. I got it at Maine Brewing Company. It's great for cold beverages. It keeps cold beverage or uh, beer cold pretty good. Doesn't get warm quick. And it's good for hot beverages. And this is the same. Cold or hot. But it has a lid. So 30 bucks I got this. I treated myself to the Yeti cooler. <laughs> the Yeti cup. What the heck? Why not? You only live once. So that's what I got. That's my score at REI. And uh, <laughs> I tell you. I, I, I love that store. I love all the stuff in it. Um, another camping store where I used to buy a lot of stuff. I haven't got anything from there for a while. But uh, Camp More, which is another mail order um, company. Uh, REI has stores. Camp More has one store, and but it has a mail order thing. And they got some pretty good stuff. I've gotten a lot of clothes from there. Which some of the clothes that I got they don't carry anymore, which I'm disappointed about because uh, I liked it. I liked it at them, but yeah, come on, yes. Cooperate. Uh, I hate when you. <laughs> I hate when they don't cook all the way on the sides. Anyway, take a bit. Buy the taters. All right. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I can't really bore you because it's just bangers and mash. And this is just an update on my little score at REI. It's like, you know, it's like Amazon. If you have an Amazon credit card, you get like a dividend reward type deal, like a, a cash. And I, 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 a lot of, sometimes I'll buy things, you know, 20 bucks or whatever with that cash just from buying things that I bought anyway, so... Um, that's just a good little perk. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else. I'm doing. definitely going to go do something this weekend. Uh, it's supposed to be gorgeous. Uh, today's Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be... I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow or Friday. I think it was Friday and then it moved to... I don't know. This weather keeps changing. It said snow and rain tonight. A little shower. I don't know. We'll see. So it says Friday showers, but it said um, it just said. Uh, what does it say? It said showers, cloudy. No. Evening rain, otherwise mostly cloudy. At night, I don't know. I you never know with this phone app. It doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Um, and I don't watch the news, so, but, you know, it's looking, uh, tomorrow, 53, Friday, almost 60, I found spring, Saturday's gonna be 53, and Sunday, 44, and then the temperature starts going, dipping down a little bit, 39, 42, 40, so, I think I found spring, I found it, I think, unless that little rat rodent, uh, disappoints us all, but I, I think you know. Hey, it's it's the middle of March. Um, we could still have another snowstorm. You never know. I mean, we had one last week, that big, huge one, but that's everything's all melting away rapidly, rapidly. We had like 18 inches, and it's almost. I mean, other than the snow banks, all the snow on the ground's pretty much soaked into the ground. It's been so nice out uh, this week so far. And the rain on Sunday. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm babbling along, so that's my pretty much my video today. I'm just, oh, how hard is it to cook a sausage, right? Um, I don't know. I could call. I could call those cooked. They look pretty good. I never cooked these things before, so I don't know. 
I like to try to get color on all sides. That's what I was trying to do when the, the suckers keep flipping over. <laughs> I can only get two sides. I don't know. That's disappointing. I'm just going to plop them right in this pan and eat it out of that because why not? I'm in a van. I got nobody to impress. I'm not even trying to impress you guys today. This is a simple Irish dish. Bang is a mash. Bang is a mash. Right, kid? So, Erin go bra. And, uh, yeah. That's it, man. We're just um, chilling in the van tonight. Beautiful. It's going to be a nice night to sleep tonight. I'm telling you. No more cold. Last night was 24 when I woke up. It was chilly. I, I made an adjustment to my underquilt. Because it was a big air gap in the bottom. And I made a little adjustment. And I'll show you what I did. It was a very simple thing. I took it and I put a knot right here. So that when this spreads out, it holds this up. And that holds it. Uh, it hold, holds the underquilt up more. So it's actually touching the... My backside was warm last night. Even at 24, I wasn't cold. But usually, I'm good about... 32, 30, if it's not windy, anything below that, I usually kick on the heat. And last night, I didn't even realize it was going to get that cold. And I woke up in the morning and it, my, my backside wasn't cold, so that was good. That, that was an improvement. Won't be needing this thing pretty soon. Another month or so, I probably won't need that at all. I'll be sleeping without that. I'll pack that away. And, um, oh, oh, geez, I'm, I'm getting excited. It's almost time to get ready to stop building this van again because uh, the spring is coming the good weather is coming I can get the doors of the van open and get everything out and and uh, build the cabinets and build the bed and I'm I'm excited I mean I'm probably not even gonna sleep in the bed I'm probably I'm gonna put my hammock this way uh, but the hammock will be over to this side so I'll have more room even when it's just sitting on that side. The stove's coming over here. I'm going to mount it to the door. Um, it just uh, some changes are coming, but winter time, I don't have a place to the inside to work on stuff, and um, I'm getting, a, I'm getting, um, I'm still not sure which fan I want to get because the Max Air fan is a lot taller than the Fantastic fan, uh, and. The Fantastic Fan is cheaper. And I think it only has three speeds. But the Max Air Fan has ten. I don't know. I'm tossing it. I, I, I might. Because I am going to put two. I'm going to put one in the back. Right way down in the back. And I'm going to put one right up over my head right here. Just past. There's a cross member right here where my curtain is. And I'm going to put one past this. And then... My solar panels eventually will go in the middle of that. Um, but I'm going to have the two so I get the big circulation through. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to put two expensive fans. I'm probably going to put one as a, the Fantastic fan and the other one maybe the Max Air fan. I still haven't decided. Uh, if I bite the bullet and get the Max Air fan and I love it, maybe I'll buy another one. I don't know. Um, I'm, I, like I said, I still I can't decide. Uh, do I go with cheaper uh, for a couple of more speeds, spending like another hundred bucks? It doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't add up a whole lot to me. Um, I've heard that the the Max Air fan's better, but I don't, it's just a fan. That's all it has to do is move air. That's all I care about. So I'm not sure. Still undecided. I have another about another month and a half before I'm gonna need that thing. I'd say end of April, May, that's when I'm gonna start needing it. I don't need it right now, I don't really. Um, but, yeah, so things things are gonna be happening soon. I'm gonna also gonna get my windows tinted and I get some limo tint. So the front two side windows, east side windows and the back windows, which, do, oh, I did do an update, which, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Probably calling me to tell me that I got an, uh, my auto thing expired. <laughs> uh, I painted my Reflectix with that um, 
with that peel off paint and to point the peel off the paint that peels off um, I forget what they call that um, but I painted it with that it was black and it looks pretty good um, but I still need to tint the windows because in the win in the summertime I'm not even gonna have the reflectics in the window all right I think these are done now so that means it's time for me to eat my dinner with or without you I'll tell you what I'm gonna do because I've never had these Nice and juicy. Alright. Right into this pan. Let that pan cool off. And then this pan. This is also one of my favorite camper knives. Just a little. It's so sharp. ready it's my first bangers and mash so I got some bangers and I got some mash oh 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 my oh Wow. I've been missing out on those. They have like a... I was afraid they'd be like bratwurst, but they're not. It tastes like sausage. Um, it tastes like maybe sage. And probably thyme. Um, and there's something else that I can't put my finger on. The spices... Uh, but it's, oh my god, it's delicious. It's delicious. Where have you been all my life? Okay, well with that, I'm going to shut up because I've been babbling this whole time. So, alright, I'm going to, I promise this weekend I'm going to be making something really good. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to be going somewhere and I'm going to be doing something. And I'm going to have fun and I'm going to drag you guys along. And I'm going to edit, I'm going to have to edit this one, so... You might not get it till midweek or something, but uh, I, I'm, I'm going to work on my editing skills a bit and not just babble, babble, babble. I want to do, like, views and, and cuts and all that. I, I, gotta, I really want to work on that. So, um, but I'm going to get some video. I'm going to get some better videos going. So, all right, I'm going to shut up, <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the thumbs up button if you like this video. Leave a comment, whether you like the video or not, leave a comment. Tell me how I'm doing, tell me how you like it, tell me what I could do better, whatever. Just say hi. Alright, night folks.